Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another edition of On the Mic with Mike. I am your host, Mike Larkin, and joining me today is the woman behind Modest Moms Wrestling. Check her out with Modest Moms, the one, the only, Alexandra Hamilton, USA's best jobber. It is a pleasure. It is a privilege. How are you doing tonight, Alexandra? Hey, I'm doing great. First and foremost, I got to first and foremost, I got to say, I love the work that you're doing with Modest Moms Wrestling. Huge fan, love the talent, I love the content that you're putting out there. Really doing a lot, not just for wrestling, but everything with to do with customs, everything to do with women's boxing and wrestling. I love everything that's incorporated in your product. Thank you very much. Now let's start. Really oh, you're very welcome. Now let's get started on how you got involved and how Modest Moms came to be. What made you want to get involved with like, you know, we see customs. I mentioned fantasy wrestling, wrestling as a whole. How did this whole thing, this whole conglomerate that you have here come into fruition? Oh, goodness gracious. Um, you know, I'll be honest with you. Um, <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm a mom. I'm a wife. Um, I'm somebody that many men are married to in the United States, in the world. Um, So there's that. I really am just a normal person. Um, My character is very um, similar to me in real life. (laughs) Um, I don't always say the right thing. Sometimes it's just so freaking goofy and you're like, God, did she just say that? Oh yeah, I did. Um, I am am really kind of just Alexandra Hamilton. my husband is a nurse and he was working long hours, a lot of hours. Um, I was home with the kids and, you know, um, homeschooling and just, you know, just family life. And I really, I wanted to contribute. I was wanting to do something, but I was wanting to still stay home with my children um, to be able to still do that, but to also still contribute. And I've never been one for <laughs> Tupperware parties or selling mascara or, you know, hitting up my friends and telling them, you know, you look a little overweight. How about you try this tea? Um, that's just not my thing. You know, it works for some people. Uh, I have bought products from people. Um, it just didn't work for me. And I, I, wa- I started watching the show Glow. Um, my dad watched Glow when I was a a little girl when I was younger, um, we've watched wrestling and, you know, it was always so fun and glamorous and the girls were strong and just really super cool. And it looked so fun. And then the show came out on Netflix and I was like kind of binge watching that, you know, at night. And I was like, Oh man, that looks like so much fun. I think I could do that. Like, yeah, I think I, I probably could do that. And, um, my boys wrestle my, my, middle boys and they had their wrestling mats out and I told my husband, you know, I think I'm, I think I'm, I want to try wrestling. And so I grabbed myself by the hair and I threw myself across the mat. <laughs> <laughs> that was his response as well. He laughed. <laughs> um, and I was like, yeah, I really, I really think I did this. I, I think I'm going to be a female wrestler. And um, so I put an ad on, you know, I, I put an app on Cra- Craigslist. Um, probably not the smartest thing was, I've ever done. I was about to say, oh God, oh God. <laughs> put it on Craigslist. Thing I've ever done. Um, I put an ad, you know, does anybody's wife want to wrestle me? That was literally my ad. Um, and a very nice couple responded. And um, we met up and we had dinner with them. We met them first, you know, in a public, nice restaurant. And we had dinner and they were just absolutely fabulous. Love them. And um, then we met up the following weekend and I took my mats to the hotel room and we had a match and I loved it. I had so much fun. It was just so fun. And um, I was stoked. Right. So I get home and I call my very best friend, Athena. And I tell her, listen, I'm going to start a women's wrestling business and you're going to come wrestle me and we're going to make videos and I'm going to make this website. And this is what, this is what we're doing. And she's like, Oh, okay. That sounds like fun. Okay. And I'm like, Oh my God. That's all I had to do was just call you. I put an ad on Craigslist. I almost got shanked. Like I could have got killed. Oh. And no. she was just, she's like, well, you should have just told me I would have did it. Like whatever. Um, So then I called my sister, I called my sister-in-law in case anybody, I don't know if everybody knows, but Sugar is my sister-in-law, Lizzie is my sister, Um, 
<clears throat> so I called them and I told them like, hey, you're going to come kick my ass and I'm going to record it and I'm going to sell it. And so as I was learning the ropes of, you know, how to set up a website and how to design a website and everything, I was also recording, recording, promoting, promoting um, on VK. Then I started Twitter, um, <clears throat> you know, all the while, while YouTubing how to do a website. I've, we've done it all ourselves. Um, I have the best cameraman ever. Um, he really supports me. Help, he helps me. Um, if I can't figure it out, he helps me to figure it out, how to do stuff. Um, but yeah, that's the gist of it. That's how it came about. I thought it looked really fun. I was excited. Um, I researched, 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 researched. Um, as it turns out, most women wrestling companies are ran by men. Um, and as it turns out, a lot of them aren't really close to where I live. <laughs> And so without being able to travel and not really wanting to travel, um, I started my own. That's how it started. Now, I got to say, first and foremost, the fact that you almost got shanked as soon as you said that, I'm like, and when you put Craigslist together, I'm not shocked because, again, you see a lot of that happen. And then here you call up, you got your sister, you got Athena, you got everything encompassed there. And what's very cool about it, too, is I still have that image of you just grabbing yourself by the hair and throwing yourself onto the mat. I mean, hey, it's a start, but we all start somewhere. I'm just saying right now that image is like embedded in my head now. So you just took your head, you just threw yourself right onto the mat. Oh, I sure did. I sure did. And I'll tell you, then I, then I had to spring it on my husband that I'm buying a wrestling ring because wow. I don't want to have a wrestling company and not have a wrestling ring. And he bought me it. That's right. He just, he, he let, he said, okay, well, if you're sure about this, I said, oh yeah, I'm sure. Well, first of sure all, enough, that's a supportive husband right there. That is a supportive <laughs> husband right there. Hands down. Cameraman is number one. Yes. Now, I also would just have to add to that as well. Like you're talking about your start. You're watching Glow. You're watching Gorgeous Ladies of Wrestling. You're watching Hollywood. And that's what I could also uh, kind of like tie in and correlate to that is because when you think of badass women wrestling with the appeal that you have, the beautiful women like yourself, like your sister, and so many people that come through Modest Moms and Modest Wrestling, what's cool about it too is you have that influx of the 80s. And like we had the Sherry Martells back in the day. We had the Medusa Michellis, the Laundry Blaze. Like you were at a time in the 80s that was so you know great. And when we started the women's boom into the 90s into what we have now with the women's revolution evolution that was really a pivotal part for women's wrestling to really come into the forefront from the golden age of professional wrestling as a define and then to, to what we have now with your company oh yeah yeah they're they're the forerunners they're they're right there that's i love watching the old vintage matches and trying to mimic their moves and the way they just not even just their moves but just their mannerisms in the ring um, is really just so impressive and just awesome. I, I just am always so impressed with the women from before me, you know, so. Oh, I look at it from a stance too. Like women are a work of art and look at wrestling for a stance as a work of art. It's really like another, it's like a chess game. You know what I'm saying? How can we do this next maneuver? And what also comes with working in the system, systematic dissection, excuse me, joint manipulation. Like it's psychology. It is a art form to what you ladies do and what all these, everybody does in the professional wrestling world. Now with you, I have to also add this as well, man. I've seen a lot of your clips. I have seen the title, the USA's best jobber. I got to ask you about the jobber term because when people think of jobber also is associated with enhancement talent. We look at Barry. Barry Horowitz from the 90s. We see a lot of people who are there to look the talents look, make the talents look good and also kick ass at the same time. How did the name the USA's best jobber come about? Because I love it. It's very fun. And you always do your thing in each and every bout that you do for Modest Moms. Well, I'm just really good at losing. And I really love <laughs> USA. <laughs> I love my country. And yeah, I'm, I'm really good at losing. Okay. And well, I love losing. I love being the loser. Okay. See, that is a very great mindset because for those wrestling fans that listen to this, Tommy Dreamer never wanted to be ECW champion. You know what I'm saying? He was fine just being the guy helping put an over everybody in ECW. You are like the female Tommy Dreamer, if you will, when it comes to Modest Moms. If I can make a comparison, it's like Tommy Dreamer. But that's not a bad thing because you also are a very important role in the bout. And it does take two to tango, as the old saying says. Yeah. And you know, really at first it was easier to just hire people who knew what to do and sure. I could just get beat up. Right. Yep. Cause you have to remember, I've not ever done this. I don't have like training, like most women, you know, I've, I didn't know anything about, I didn't know anything about anything. Honest. I didn't, I didn't know anything. I didn't even know that I could make money doing this. Um, 
I just, I didn't know. And I didn't know anyone. I didn't have any um, strings to pull or any, I, I didn't know anyone to, to teach me. So I was just really good at hiring people who could come and kick my ass, right? I was good at losing right off the bat. I knew that I could lose. I think what's great about it too is from an imagery standpoint, which we see on social media and your site, Alexandria, like those poses, like just the overall peril that you have on your face really does go with the bouts that we see from an image standpoint. It really wants, makes a lot of us want to go out there and buy the match and go on your website. So it's very gravitating towards the website as well from an imagery standpoint. Well, thank you very much. I do really try my hardest to um, put the realism into it, I guess, to make it um, look real. I'll tell you, I have a very hard time um, with pictures. Um, if I'm posing for the picture, like if I'm, you know, for instance, yesterday, um, Athena and I did some pictures for my OnlyFans. And every time I was supposed to look like you know she's coming at me I make the stupidest face oh my gosh it's just awful it's just cringeworthy she and then Athena ends up laughing and it's like a total just shit fest so I'm like okay here's what we're gonna do we're just gonna go through the match and I'm gonna take the stills out of the match because when I think about it I can't do it right like I I look like fake it doesn't look real to me it doesn't it's not acceptable it's not it's not worthy of putting it out there to everybody. Um, but so I always feel like, ah, that's what I would look like if I was really getting hit. You know, that's how I know, like, it's not fake. That's really how I would look like, I think, because when I try to look like I'm getting hurt, I look like a complete jackass. Oh, I get it. I mean, it reminds me of like, if you actually see like a bad horror film, like, you know how the girls are selling like right before they're getting killed. It's like that. But no, I mean, what's great about it too, is like from a stance that you were talking about the realism, like when you see it from your OnlyFans, when you see it on your site, it really, again, it captures the audience and really wants everybody to check out the bout. And besides, and I will say this, besides yourself, your lovely sister Lizzie is absolutely gorgeous. And you two are a great tandem, whether you're against each other or together, it really makes for great content. You and your sister do the damn thing. Oh, I, you know what? I just love my sister. She is so great. She's like fighting a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Her character really is her. She ain't tough at all. She is by far, I would, hands down, I would say even over myself, Lizzie Hamilton is by far the best jobber I've ever worked with. She is phenomenal. She can take a beating like nobody's business. Um, and again, that really comes natural to her that really she is quite her character as well and I will say my roster um, of local talent here with me they carry modest moms with me they are so good every every girl that I work with locally um, but yes thank you for saying that about my sister I absolutely agree she's gorgeous and she is so good at what she does she is a damn good loser my sister is and I think what's great about it too is besides the fact that you're blood and besides the fact that you two have that chemistry just being sisters it's like if you have look at Matt and Jeff Hardy look at Brett and Owen Hart and professional wrestling look at just in general that we, we see there yeah. it's one of those things where it's like you just both really like you're talking about her just the best loser and you doing what you do it makes for great content and going back to the content side of things like when you look at modest moms besides the fact that it's great wrestling and it's fun and we're going back to the beauty strength and dominance part we have a lot of beautiful women like yourself and everybody encompassed in it really gravitates towards the product and overall it's fun and it has amazing appeal oh thank you so much i really absolutely agree with you 100 percent um but it also takes a long time right and you know that i mean with your site, um, it takes a long dang time. Mm -hmm. A 10 minute boxing video takes me at least four hours to edit if you want it done right, you know, with, especially when I film with two cameras, um, which I usually do. Um, it takes a long time to edit. I put a lot of care and thought and pride in every single video that I do, whether it's a custom or it's a Modest Moms production, you know. Oh, I agree. For me, with the podcasting side of things, whether it just be my side or what I do for LFC Laundry Fighting Championships, like you want to put the best content out there for everybody with LFC expanding and doing what it's doing. And we'll talk about the talents that work with from LFC to Modest Moms. But God dang, man, you want to put out the best product. You want to put out the best show for everybody. And that really applies to all endeavors of life. Oh, absolutely. 
Absolutely. Freaking lutely. I always strive to do better than I did the day before. Um, I push that on my children, you know, they can't get anything less than an 80% or I'm going to make them redo it because I, um, I, I just think people should always be trying to do their best and be their best and putting forth that effort to other people as well. You know, I don't want to eat up anybody's time. I don't want to waste anybody's time nor their money. I want to make sure that they're happy and they're getting what they deserve. Right. Mm -hmm. I'll be honest. My mother was like that too. When I was in school, I mean, I love the bees were great, but my mom wanted an A always. So I agree with that same, uh, I agree with that same mentality and that great strive for success. My mom was like that as well. Oh, absolutely. I work really hard. You know, all of us girls do. Um, and my cameraman, we work really hard to produce the best content. Um, I'd say 24 seven, but honestly, it's more like 18 hours out of the day, um, seven days a week. I never take a day off. If I'm not recording, I'm tweeting. If I'm not tweeting, I'm editing. If I'm not editing, I'm making a flyer. I'm, I'm scheduling the girls to come out. I'm, you know, I'm always working. I mean, I'm always planning something. I'm always, I, I never shut down. I never shut down. This is so important to me. I'm so proud of my business and the girls that I work with. I'm so blessed to work with every single one that have come to work with me and give me a chance. Um, you know, I'm very happy to have my cameraman home with me now. He doesn't have to work outside the home anymore um, because he works for me. Um, I, I really love what we do. I love what we do. This isn't, um, I take it very seriously and I absolutely love it. So I'm happy to hear that you have enjoyed it and that you've seen it and that you, you think I'm doing a good job. That's very nice to say. Of course. And I also look at it from a stance to anybody that wants to apply their craft, whatever it may be, go, or go hard and, you know, kick ass and take names with it. Also, like you were talking about, tweeting, I got to, I got to mention this man every day on your Twitter. I always love it. I love seeing the photos. Here's what you do. You give us the choice. Do you like blue? Do you like pink? Whatever you're wearing, you, you give us a choice with the mm. color. I, I love that. That's one of my favorite posts on Twitter. I think that's so fun. It is. It, it, I it, think it's fun. And I look hot. So then there's the double, it's fun and it's hot. So yeah, why not? You know, interact with people, right? People want to interact with you. I know I, I want to interact with people. Mm -hmm. No, I mean, it works. I'll be honest with you. If you guys have not seen Alexandra Hamilton on her Twitter doing her thing, man, it's every day. I love it. Should I wear the pink? Should I wear the purple? Either one. I've, I've told you this and I'll say it to this on the show. Give me both. But I have to say, if I had to pick one, you see, you make it tough for me. You make it tough for the people, but it's a great interaction all around. Well, thank you. I think it's fun. And I, I want to get people interacting and, you know, just having fun. Agreed. And I mean, look at how OnlyFans has had a boom. I mean, we get a lot of great content. We get a lot of beautiful talent like yourself. It's really a broad community. It's really like a hotbed right now at the OnlyFans front. Oh, yeah. And I'll tell you what, that tweet that you're talking about, mm -hmm. that was a $300 tweet. Jesus. That, that, you know, I mean, that tweet got me a custom, you know, that tweet was a $300 tweet. They they saw that they emailed me. Heck yeah. Got it done. Don't like you it. worry. All right. Now, another one, I have to mention, another one I have to mention as well is I know you've gotten the chance to work with Jezebel Romo and Jezebel Romo, Lucha Girls, Santino Brothers Academy out in there in California. I love that one of the best wrestling schools out there. Jezebel Romo, I had to mention that name because she is absolutely talented. She is a badass. She kicks butt, take names and is a beauty. I love the fact that you got Jezebel Romo up there as well, because she is one of my favorites going today. Let me tell you something. Yeah. Let me tell you something. The very first, and I don't know, maybe you've heard this because I know I've said it before um, on another podcast. Um, so you can stop me or I can say it. I don't care. I'm long-winded, so I can talk all day. No, go ahead. Um, the very first match I ever had um, with somebody outside of my family <laughs> um, was with Jezebel. I went down there to her ring. And I was so nervous. I forgot my freaking bag. I forgot everything, my makeup, my suit, everything. So I had to, like a goon, run into Target and buy a bathing suit really quick. Um, I didn't have very much makeup on. I only had lipstick on because um, that's all I had. And I went there. I showed up. She was so sweet. She was so gracious. She was like, oh, you should have just called me. I would have let you use something of mine. And, you know, she was so nice. And we recorded an entire match. I got home. I was just so stoked. I got to meet her. I was like a total fan, you know. 
Um, and I went to edit the video and I did not have my mic turned on. Uh -huh. So I have a silent fucking video of me and Jezebel. And I was just devastated. I was so embarrassed. I was just like, oh man, I'm a total freaking idiot, you know, um, just totally bummed. And then I reached out to her and she came up here and I was just, oh, man. So yeah, to say that I, I really enjoy working with her and I really like her, it would just be an understatement. I am so impressed. I am just, I just, she's just, she's so cool. She brings her husband and he's cool as hell. And he shows me how to do a few things and they're so cute together. And, um, they just work so well together. Right. I love to see that. Um, and they're just so cool. Um, I love her. I absolutely love her. And then she comes up here and, and we work together. I do stuff for her site. I do stuff for your site. Um, and she does stuff for my site and, she is just always so much fun. That's like above all, like when she comes up here, we just have such a great time, right? Like she's just enjoyable to work with and be with. And I learned so much from her. I am just so appreciative that she's even willing to come up and work with somebody like me, you know, just an old mom sitting around, you know, wanting to wrestle. It's just, it blows my mind. It blows my mind that she comes up here and works with me. I'm so impressed. But yeah, so. Now, first and foremost, I'm just going to add to that. You're only as old as you feel. You stop that with your old mom stuff. Stop that right well, now. Well, you know. Oh, you know what I mean. It's I know. Like I'm just saying, please don't. I don't want to hear that word out of you. Talk about your old mom. <laughs> no. So when it comes to Jezebel Romo, another thing I got to mention is, again, we talked about the school with Santino Brothers Academy, with Lucha Girls, everything that she does. Everything is right at your fingertips. As a kid growing up in Long Island, New York, you have the New York Wrestling Connection. You have Create a Pro run by Brian Myers, who's doing his thing on Impact Wrestling now. You have FTW. You have wrestling schools right at your fingertips. And what we got in California, we got her stuff. We mentioned Jezebel Romo. We got your stuff. Everything from the the wrestling side of things is right at their fingertips. So, I mean, it's really accessible and it's really pretty much, I'm going to say this right now. It is so accommodating for people to go out there and want to learn about wrestling and just have a fun time while doing it. Yeah. And I will also go ahead and plug for them that they also have an online class that they've been doing. I don't know if it's still in session. I know they were starting um, another online um, like character building and stuff like that. I don't know if they're still in session with that because I know they were just starting one a few weeks ago but they're like it's not just you don't have to just be able to make it there in person right they have all different avenues to help you learn and train and become a better wrestler right not only that Santino Brothers their YouTube yeah. holy smokes the plethora of knowledge for free that they put out there for one is crazy but for two it is so entertaining i could just watch them all night long sometimes i do i'm right there with you because if you want to learn about promos or if you just want to learn about in-ring stuff like the psychology on that youtube through videos and through from a virtual standpoint is absolutely amazing like you will you'll get hooked like, like you said you'll get hooked oh yeah i i watch santino brothers on youtube in the middle of the night all the time when I don't have anything else to buy. Cause sometimes I have to buy stuff in the middle of the night too, you know, hey. wrestling boots and suits and all kinds of stuff to buy. <laughs> I like your style, getting the boots, getting everything in the middle of the night. I like your style. Just getting right. Everything from your accessories done. Hell yeah. Okay. Another name I got, another name I got to mention to Alexandria is because I've seen her work as well. Athena Law, you mentioned her earlier, is another one that you've done amazing work with. I got to say another cutie beauty, another one who just has that athleticism, and another one who is just very stunning in her own right. I had to put that name out there right now because you and Athena together are absolutely amazing as well. Oh, yeah, she is wonderful. She um, is my very best friend. She truly is my very best friend. Um, we have great chemistry. I know when she's going to hit me. She knows when I'm going to hit her. If she accidentally hits me, I don't get upset. We just keep rolling with it. She knows when I'm, you know, when I'm okay. She knows if like, okay, we need to stop. I just poked you in the eye, like whatever. Um, she's very easy for me to work with. And on top of that, I love her dearly with all of my heart. So um, yeah, she's, she's my favorite. I love her. You know what's beautiful. Yes, agreed wholeheartedly. And I also look at it from a stance too. Like when you guys see the photos of Athena, when you guys see the photos of Alexandria on Twitter and everything that's encompassed when they're bouts, what's great about it too is like you guys, are, you're so up to date with your social media. Like we were talking about upcoming people that are coming. One name I got to mention, 
Vita Von Starr. Now, Vita Von Starr just did her bout at LFC 31 Booty Camp 2 against Gemma Jersey, Babe Juliana. And for professional wrestling fans, if that name sounds familiar, she is doing her thing in Ring of Honor Wrestling, ROH. That is someone I am very much looking forward to see coming in because she's athletic. She's, you know, done some work in the circus. She's very flexible. She has that athleticism. And she's also very flexible as well. So, God dang, man, you got Vita Von Starr coming in. How excited are you for that? And are you looking forward to seeing Vita come in? Because she's done amazing work. I am so excited for her to come and beat the hell out of me. I cannot wait. She is fantastic. She has a a wonderful personality character. Um, I really like her professionalism. She's going to be big, right? Like I can, she's just a star. She's just a star in her own right. And I am so, so excited and so honored that she's coming to work with me. Um, Not just me, but my sister and sugar as well. And, um, I really, I look forward to that, you know, Platinum having her come and work with her. And I'm very, very excited to have her come. Absolutely. That's what's amazing about it too, is because when it comes to Vita Von Starla, she's trained at the Ring of Honor Dojo. She's trained at Worldwide Dojo. When you have people like Cheeseburger you're being trained by and the legendary Sumi Sakai who's been in the business since 98, like you have that toolage, you have that knowledge, but you also have that awareness about it and professionalism. So I echo those statements. People, if you've not checked out Vita Von Star, definitely check her out. Check out her latest LFC bout. You'll be not disappointed as well because she has a lot of badass photos and badass matches to check out on the social media front and YouTube. So you were in for a treat with Miss Vita Von Star. Oh, absolutely. Another one I got to mention here. We got Agatha Delicious, one of my favorites in LFC. Agatha Cannibal Carter, hell of a bite, hell of a talent, hell of a beauty, a cutie beauty. I want to ask you about Agatha as well, because, I mean, again, a lot of the LFC girls coming in, and I'll mention Allie Parker as well. Another one in her own right, Agatha Delicious. Rightfully so, pun intended delicious, because she is an absolute stunning fox. Yeah, she'll be here next week, um, next Thursday. Mm -hmm. I'm very excited to work with her. She's another one that I was keeping my eye on. Um, I, I, I'm a people watcher and I'm very mindful of, you know, what people are doing and where they're at with their, their stuff. And so I'm excited to work with her. I, I've been watching her and she, I'm excited to have her out here with everybody. I got to mention this as well. There's nothing wrong with being a people watcher. We get to study. We get to know what we like. I also like that very much about you too, is because, you know, you're aware of your surroundings, if you will. So now you get to, you know, really study people. Like you mentioned, being the people watcher that you are, but it it also gets to make for beautiful relationships, beautiful friendships, and just to see what comes in the future. So I like your style on that front as well. Oh, absolutely. So we all need to remember that this, I work from home. Mm -hmm. So this modest mom's wrestling, that's my home. When I, ask somebody to come and work with us, I'm inviting them into my home where my children are, where my life is, right? Um, Which is a very private and intimate thing. I think somebody's home is is a private and intimate place. Um, You don't just invite anybody into your home. Um, So I'm very mindful and um, I I put a lot of care into it. You know, I, everybody that I've worked with, I can honest to goodness say, I truly have enjoyed I treasure our friendships that I've made with everyone. Um, <clears throat> and I, I would have them back. There's nobody that I've worked with that I would not have back. So I have, I've been very blessed to work with every single woman that I have worked with. There has not been one person who I've been like, oh God, I'm glad she's out of here, you know, ever. I'm always really sad to see them go. What I also (laughs) like to add to that, and also you said it so beautifully, I'd like to add on to that really quickly, Alexandria. Like you talk about, I mentioned Ellie Parker, I mentioned the LFC girls. There's a lot of girls that also do session wrestling. There's a lot of girls that do cat fighting. You got Paris Love coming up, Megan Jones, session world. Like it's all the worlds combined and it's all the art forms combined. Cause when you've got sessions, when you've got LFC, where you've got everything incorporated from in, you know, combative nature, like every world is like colliding in here and it's awesome. It really provides a wide array and a variety of talent to come through. I will tell you, um, I didn't know about session girls. I really had to do a lot of research on who was going to come and work with us and um, where I was going to find people, right? Like you can't just go ask people because people think you're crazy. Um, Although I do. (laughs) Um, (coughs) Platinum will will attest to that. Um, So I didn't really know about session girls. And then when I found them, I have been so impressed so all the session girls, they're so professional and they show up, right? They show up and they do their work and they do it well and they're proud of what they do. And 
I'm proud of what they do. And I'm so excited to have that, um, I guess that pool to pull from or whatever. Like it is such a fantastic resource for my company and I'm so thankful for it. Um, but yeah, the session girls and, and then you mentioned Allie Parker and I just wanted, Oh man, I love Allie Parker. Yep. Um, she is fantastic. She came out, I worked with her a couple of times and then I got to go and see her in the, um, the midget mania. She did the wrestling with the traveling, um, yes. wrestling company. And that was so much fun. I loved it. She's just so fun and she's so down to earth and genuine person. Um, I, absolutely adore her and enjoyed working with her. So I'm glad you brought her up because she's fabulous. Of course. And for anyone who's ever gotten in contact with Allie Parker, AKA Allie baby doll parks of LFC, God dang, man, she is a badass. She's a tough woman. She's also a very beautiful and sweet person and someone who's tough for someone who has given her brother a kidney. Like I got to just say that right now, that is much respect. And that is just overall heart. Like everything about that woman encompasses beauty, strength, and dominance to reiterate that point. Gotta love me some Allie Parker. Oh yeah, absolutely. She's phenomenal. She's just wonderful. She's a wonderful person. She's good to be around. She's just good company. You just like her. You can't help but just like her. Agreed. And like you mentioned, Platinum Fury there. Oh my goodness gracious. I've seen your work with her and Platinum is another one that is just lively. Like we mentioned rapport, beautiful, but she can go, she can go. And I love me some Platinum Fury. Oh, absolutely. And she's, she's fun. She's a hard worker. She's smart. Um, I really like her drive. I knew from the beginning, you know, I, she, she was a fitness instructor and I was taking classes um, with her and I just, her vibe, I was just like, oh, I got to get her in the ring. I just love her. And so I just, you know, I asked her, so uh, what do you think about women's fantasy wrestling? And she's like, well, I've never really heard of it, but it sounds pretty cool. Tell me, tell me about it. And so I did. And she came out and she just fucking dove right in head first and she's just really just badass and fun and cool and driven and smart and a hard worker um all all of it put into one little platinum fury i love her now i also have to mention this as well another name we were talking about just had her on the show not too long ago angelina knight we were talking about this before we come here but we're going to mention this on air because god dang for someone who's so new doing cat fighting doing what she's doing really training and putting in the work a little spitfire if you will she calls herself the tiny hobbited princess if you will for her stature and her overall size but god dang man she's driven she's a spitfire and dare i say she's kind of wild but i look forward to seeing what she does for you in the future um yeah so i i look forward to working with her she is, seems like a very sweet girl i said you know i had told you i listened to her podcast um mm-hmm. so she seems like a very nice girl i do like her um I do think that she'll fit right in. She's a mom. Um, you don't have to be a mom to come here, but she's a mom too. Mm-hmm. Um, she's sweet and um, very driven. She's, you know, she's putting it out there. She's putting herself out there. She's trying new things. Um, she's smart. And yeah, I, I really like her. And she's so cute, right? She's mm-hmm. just this teeny little thing. She's kind of like a Perry, you know, um, <laughs> Yes. She's just, I really like her. I think she's very nice and I think she'll do well. I'm going to say this right now. I'll be honest with you with her laugh and how she speaks. It's kind of like a little church mouse, but it's cute as hell. And I'll put that out there. And I mean that with the most sincere respect because you got me laughing with the whole princess stuff. But yes, it's, it's, it's pretty much who Angelina is. I think a lot of people and a lot of people that visit Modest Moms will enjoy the work that she does with one Miss Alexandra Hamilton. Mm-hmm. And got, Listen, yeah. I'm not, I'm not looking forward to the work she's going to do with me. I, I can't wait. To see the work that she's going to do with sugar. Oh my God. That is going to be an epic bout when that happens. The sugar is amazing. Oh yes, she is. And it, she is just, that's going to be a match for the books, man. I'll tell you what I, that's what I'm looking forward to. That's what I'm saying. So when you got sugar and all these ladies that we mentioned, what I really also do enjoy about the product is too, when it comes to women's wrestling, women's fantasy wrestling, however you want to define it, all works of art. And also what I love from a stance too, is like over the years, just the evolution and revolution of just seeing women kicking ass and taking names and really being shown at such a great light that you do with your product and just in wrestling in general. It's amazing just to see the badass women that have been coming and going and doing the damn thing for years upon years upon years. And it's going to keep growing and growing. I think so too. I think it's wonderful. I think it's fun. I think people enjoy it. It's entertaining. 
Um, it's hot, you know, people like to see pretty women um, and all women of all shapes and sizes, hair color, um, no hair, whatever, you know, I mean, they love seeing us as women being strong and being out there and doing our thing, right? Like it's entertaining. It really is. People love it. I love it. You love it. Mm -hmm. Everybody loves it. There's nothing not to love about it. Of course. It's fantastic. And I look at it from a stance too, like you're at the forefront right now for so many women's companies and everything out there. I mean, yeah, that's got to make you feel good. You were at the forefront, Alexandria, doing what you do. It makes me feel great. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I love it. What I, also I mean, I'm always, I'm always working on stuff and what else can we do? Like, how could we make it better? What, what, what can we do differently? Um, you know, I'm always looking to just lighten things up a little bit, right? Make it a little more fun, make it a little sexier, make it, um, you know, just <clears throat> better all the time. Like, why not? Why shouldn't it be a little bit better? You know, I don't want, I don't want just a plain donut. We're going to glaze that. We're going to put chocolate on it. Like we're going to sprinkle that with that. Um, I'm always wanting to do it a little bit better. Let's do something a little more fun. Um, you know, we've, we've got a huge project that we're working on right now. Um, I'm going to be calling a lot of the models in and a few of the other producers. And I don't want to give away too much, but um, no spoilers. No spoilers. I can tell you that it's not mud sport, although I do plan on still doing that. Um, but I do, I have a lot of things and a lot of really fun ideas that I'm working on. Um, just keep that in mind, you know, for Halloween next year. I plan on being done with it. Um, I've, I'm always doing something. I'm always using my resources as well, you know, right? Like I've got a lot of good girls here and just, it's just fun. I just love what I do and I'm always trying to do it better. And I always want to be the best and I always want to make other people strive to be the best, right? Like, oh, now I got to work a little harder because Alexandria is, you know? What I love about you too is your vibrancy, your overall exuberance, and everything about you, like we discussed, and what's the key word a lot about in this show here, is fun. And I want to say this right now, and I have a couple final things I will add, and I'm going to say this, Alexandria, the floor is yours. Anytime you want to come back on this show, you're more than welcome to. I really had a blast talking with you tonight and really shooting the breeze about Modest Moms and just kicking it with you. I really appreciate your time tonight. Well, thank you very much. It was fun. I've had a great time. Anytime you want me to on, just let me know, and then we'll work it out, you know. <clears throat> preferably oh, okay. not in allergy season. Oh my God, this is <laughs> ridiculous. I'm going to sound awful. Ah, uh, you're fine, please. It happens. I've been on this show and I've mm -hmm. sounded sick as well. So it's okay. You're fine. You're, you're <laughs> great. Now, I also would like to add before we do close this out, people, if you've not checked out modestmomswrestling.com, check it out. Athena Law, Alexandra Hamilton, the lovely Miss Sugar, Lizzie Hamilton. We'll be here all day. We have a lot of great talent coming in from Modest Moms Wrestling. And really, if you've not checked it out, check it out everywhere, wherever you get your social media platforms, wherever you get your audio goodness or what have you with this podcast. This is where I'll step back as Alexandria. Please promote Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, the website, where everybody can follow you and let everybody know who's coming through. The floor is yours, ma'am. Okay. So um, let's see. <clears throat> At the moment, um, I have, hold on. <clears throat> Dang. Um, I have about 400 unreleased videos and counting because I just did about 15 that I still haven't edited. Um, I shot three yesterday. I shot one today. Um, I'm recording with platinum tomorrow, Wednesday. I've got Dolly here and um, which there is a sale for um, the Dolly shoot hint, hint, everybody. Um, Agatha's going to be here Thursday. Um, I'm always doing POVs. I've always got my only fans. Um, which go subscribe to OnlyFans, Alexandria Hamilton. It's $20 a month. Um, that's never going to change. I do not run promotions on my OnlyFans. Um, I don't do any nudity on my OnlyFans. Absolutely no nudity or sexual content. So just to be very clear with that, um, I'm still in the six top 6% um, on OnlyFans, which I am so grateful for. The amount of content that I post is insane right? Um, the deals are insane. Savings, tons of MMW content, um, very exclusive Alexandria Hamilton content is on my OnlyFans. Um, Modest Moms premieres. I try to get live fights in on there. Um, tons more on my OnlyFans. So if you're into female fighting and sex butts, 
that's the best $20 you'll spend every month. I'll tell you that. Like I really put everything into everything I do, including my OnlyFans. I don't half-ass anything. Um, I am also working on possibly having a local venue and doing a live show. So that's something that's going to happen. That's going to happen. It may not happen right now because of COVID and things are just whatever wacky in the world, but that's going to happen. I am working on that. Um, it's going to be totally awesome. Um, let's see. I'm also getting another ring. I, I have decided that I really enjoyed having my ring outdoors. So I'm going to go ahead and get another ring for outside as well. So I can continue to do my indoor match and my outdoor matches without having to take the ring back and forth. Cause that's a pain in the butt and I'm not in for that. Um, and then I can also go live easier because it's a little more difficult and tricky with the internet in my um, wrestling room right now. Um, yeah, I'm number one in fantasy wrestling on Clips for Sale since November of 2018. I'm very proud of that. And I'm very thankful to all my fans for that. Um, top three in every category. Um, also, I'll say my Clips for Sale has a lot more than Modest Moms does, right? Modest Moms doesn't have as much mixed wrestling. It doesn't have um, a lot of the foot stomping or, um, you know, I do some of the sleepy type stuff. Um, so check out the Clips for Sale store because it's not just all focused on the women's wrestling. There are other categories. I take all kinds of customs, all kinds of customs. Um, you know, if it looks fun and enjoyable, chances are I'm probably going to do it. Um, as long as there's no nudity or sexual content, I'm probably going to do it. Right. Um, yeah. So that's about that. I mean, we've got Agatha Delicious coming, Sarah Brooke, Vita Von Star, Paris Love, Megan Jones. Um, of course, Angelina, I plan on booking her and getting that a set date soon. Um, I have a lot more that I can't quite mention yet. Um, but I have, and us local girls are always available. So that's also another thing, you know, I can call any of them and we'll figure out a day. It might not be tonight or it might be in the morning or maybe they'll say, oh yeah, well, I can come out on Sunday. My local girls are just phenomenal. They're always ready to work. They always um, do a great job. So they're always available, but those are just some of the big, you know, guests that are coming. And um, yeah, I guess that's about it. All right, and check her out on Twitter at USA's Best Job, where we got people like Sarah Brooke coming through, the names that she just mentioned. So many great talents coming through, so many great people on the website, from boxing, from wrestling. It is an art form. It is great content. Check her out on OnlyFans, Miss Alexandria Hamilton, Modest Moms Wrestling. If you are not, what are you doing? Get out there and check out Modest Moms Wrestling. Great content, a lot of great people, a lot of professionalism, and a lot of beauty. And my final words to you, Miss Alexandria Hamilton, beauty, strength, and dominance are three key elements that make women the work of art that they are, and I include you in those sentiments. Thank you so much for your time tonight. And thank you so much. You're very welcome. So for Alexandria Hamilton, USA's best jobber, my name is Mike Larkin. This will conclude another edition of On the Mic with Mike, and I will talk to you guys in the next episode. Have a great night, everyone.